We're seeing a new candle join the current four year cycle. A new candle four is developing, and this candle four is the halving year candle four. And we tend to see green candle fours across time. So, why is this currently red? Well, we tend to see retracements early on in the new halving year, just before the halving, but then we see a recovery just like this to break beyond the four year cycle resistance. We'll be talking about that a lot more in today's video. So, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this in the future and let's dive right into the video. So candle four is a candle that inevitably with time tends to break the four year cycle resistance. And that means that after the halving, Bitcoin is going to break beyond 46K. This has happened in the past. We tend to comfortably break beyond this four year cycle resistance after struggling to do so in candle one, two and three. You can see that across four year cycles, even in this previous cycle, one, two, and three rejection from this four year cycle resistance at 13,900. And even in this current four year cycle that we're in right now, one, two, three, even, you can see that rejection from 46K in 2023. And also right now. But the thing about breaking beyond this resistance is that it occurs after the halving. And let's talk about that in a bit more detail. You can see how 13,900 right over here was the four year cycle resistance. And this is the halving event right over here. You can see that we only break beyond this resistance many months after the halving. And in fact, we reject from here after the halving, but we see a weaker rejection. So this is a much weaker rejection after the halving from the four year cycle resistance compared to the one we saw in 2019, a few years before the halving event. So that just shows that this four year cycle resistance weakens with time until it's broken in that new candle for halving year. The same thing goes for 2016. We know just from the four year cycle, for instance, looking here, $740 is the four year cycle resistance in this cycle. So if we cycle to this chart right over here, 740 is approximately this resistance. And you can see that, well, we reject from there early on in the four year cycle, but even just before the halving, we reject once again from here. But that's to show us that this is a weakening resistance because in the past we saw a rejection into a new bear market. But then just before the halving, we reject from here into a 40% retrace, which is shallower than what we saw back here. And then here as well, we reject many months after the halving, but it's an even shallower rejection before we break above it, turn it into support and then rally into the parabolic phase of the cycle. So the thing about this is we reject from the four year cycle resistance over the course of a few years, but each time seeing a lesser and lesser rejection before it's finally broken. But the key point to note here is that we don't break beyond this four year cycle resistance until we are many months after the halving. That's the case in 2016. And also in 2020, you can see that right over here. So that's going to be the case also in this current cycle of 2024. You can even see that right over here, we've just rejected from this region of 46K roughly speaking, and now we're retracing. So that's perfectly normal what we're seeing right now. We'll probably see a recovery two months before the halving and then another retrace but then we'll transition to the reaccumulation period for a few months and then break beyond 46K quite comfortably many months after the halving to enter this parabolic phase of the cycle. And that's just how it has been over the past few years in these four year cycles. So the fact that this is a red candle right now, that tends to be the case in the pre-halving period. This red candle right now, this January, doesn't look too great. But if we were to look at this candle in December of this year, we'll probably see something like this develop where we have a strong green candle. The last thing that I'd like to mention in this video is we're probably going to see a downside wick like this, maybe not as volatile as what we saw in 2020, a very long downside wick caused by the pandemic, but something reasonable like this candle for downside wick in 2016 is a possibility. So we're currently seeing a bit of downside and this current downside, especially if we see a bit more of it, that's going to probably be the future downside wick later on in this year. So really important to 
pay attention to this opportunity that we're seeing evolve right in front of our eyes, this is one of the final bargain buying opportunities for Bitcoin akin to this, maybe not similar. We're not going to see a 63% retracement like we saw in 2016, but here we saw a 20%, 18% retracement, and we're already seeing that on Bitcoin right now. So even if we go a little bit more, that just showcases to us that this is a bargain buying opportunity worth taking advantage of before we embark on that pre-halving rally. Maybe we reject again from 46K like we saw in 2016, 2018, 2020 even, apologies, and then we're able to retrace from there into the pre-halving retrace, reaccumulate, and then break beyond that 46k region later on. So essentially the pathway looks like a bit more downside still to come potentially in the higher 30ks, maybe mid 30ks in this period that is approximately 80 days before the halving. And then once we establish a base here, rally in the pre-halving rally, maybe we go to form a resistance at that 46K region once again to reject from there, because remember, that is the four-year cycle here. And we tend to reject from this 46K four-year cycle resistance early on in the new halving year before the halving, but then once we reject into the post halving reaccumulation period, we'll be ready to break beyond 46K later down the line. So really important to understand that we might have two retracements currently, this retracement, but also the pre-halving retrace. And these two retraces are going to offer the last bargain buying opportunities before we finally break beyond 46K in this new candle for in this halving year, but only after the halving. This has been the case in 2020. You can see how we break out into the parabolic phase of the cycle. And it's no coincidence that breaking that four year cycle resistance enables a fantastic rally. This has been the case in 2020. Just notice how breaking beyond the four year cycle resistance also in 2016 enables a fantastic rally. So once we finally break beyond 46K after the halving, that's going to enable fantastic upside, whether it's to new all-time highs, like we saw, for instance, in 2020, we broke to new all-time highs in 2020, or whether it's to rally higher than 46K, but still not break those old all-time highs. We'll find out, we'll see, but the case is that we're going to end the year candle for 2024 in really impressive fashion. We're going to see a strong green candle maybe still first with a bit more retracement, a bit of downside volatility in the form of a downside wick before we're finally able to post halving 46K breakout beyond there and then rally to new highs in 2024 and new highs that we haven't seen since 2021. So there's lots to look forward to. That's about it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Check out the top right hand corner video for more. Like this video if you enjoyed this one. Subscribe to the channel for more and I'll speak to you in the next one. Speak to you soon.